Hey, welcome to Rev and Rip Sports Collections. So this evening, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to crack open this box of 91 Fleer football. What this has is uh, the new Pro Visions cards in 91. Top Pro Prospects Fleer All Pro cards randomly inserted. So what we're looking for mainly are these cards here. Although some of, you know, the uh, normal uh, base cards are valuable. These here, those are our big hitters as far as a PSA 10. So good box, no damage to the corners, anything like that. Packaged very well. The cards themselves, look, the packs look absolutely fantastic. Uh, we will go ahead and... Start ripping this box open, pack by pack, 36 packs. Uh, again, provisions are what we're looking for. Uh, some of those, Bo Jackson, uh, Randall Cunningham right now is uh, the most valuable. Uh, approximately, as these are all PSA 10 grades, um, is um, provision 750 uh, Bo Jack again, all these are provisions that way I don't have to say it multiple times. Bo Jackson, um, round uh, 700, Howie Long 650, Dan Marino 345, Derek Thomas 300, Bruce Smith 275, uh, LT Lawrence Taylor 280, Barry Sanders 215. Uh, the uh, there are no PSA 10s that I have seen. Uh, traded on the or sold on the Joe Montana or Mike Singletary. So that value is not there. Uh, nines are drastically reduced. Um, you know, um, even the Montana and Singletary where there are no tens uh, listed on the sell list. They come in at uh, $35, $30 as a nine. So your highest nine is uh, the Bo Jackson, and that is ranked at $100, where everything else is $40 and below. The highest the Bo Jackson has sold is uh, $1,000. So you do have that potential anywhere from $700 to $1,000. There are no gum. There is no gum, I should say, in these packs. Um, so that is a, a good thing. There is a insert of some sort, but we are looking for some big hitters. I won't uh, go through all the names on on these cards. Let me put this thing on charge. See, I'm running low on uh, battery power here. So, it's just, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, notify the, uh, the players that are notable, and we will skip the... Uh, the uh, base individuals, Cortez Kennedy. I will say that is his, uh, I believe that's his rookie card. Uh, it's either that or the uh, pro set. I can't remember, but we'll set Cortez off here to the side. It might be this 91 Fleer or it might be the, uh, let me see here real quick. No, that is the 90 pro set with the uh, Cortez. Kennedy, I believe. Uh, but uh, we'll be uh, ripping that box open as well. And uh, so if you would, please uh, like and subscribe to the to the channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate it. Appreciate all the positive comments and everything that uh, been receiving. Uh, it just uh, makes things a lot more enjoyable on, on my end, even though I love... Uh, ripping these boxes open no matter what, even if I did not have any audience whatsoever. So this here, Joe Montana League Leaders, that's, you know, base card, a little off center, but uh, good looking card. It's, these cards are, <laughs> uh, you know, this was obviously during the, uh, the hot market of sporting cards, but um, I don't remember this set for say, I don't think that, I think I was, getting out of the sports cards at that point, just uh, age range and, and things going on uh, in life. But um, yeah, it's odd that they chose to go with a uh, 
solid faded collar background rather than uh, the uh, typical normal um, field per se and other players in it. LT, big, big hitters. I'm pumped to see what we can get out of this. There's Bruce Smith on the big hitters. Bob Golick. Randall Cunningham. It appears that they kind of did like a collar match for say the background on the uh, on the uniform. Chose a collar out of the uniform to make him stand out, I guess. There's uh, Mike Singletary. Just pull out and mention the uh, the Hall of Famers out of this 91 clear. This is the uh, first, first box that I have ever cracked open of this set. So the first time is always, is always fun. There's Dan Marino, good looking card. A little off center, left to right. Eric Allen. Not his rookie, but exceptional player. Again, we are looking for the provisions and solely the Pro Visions. I'll go ahead and pull out the uh, Hall of Famer base cards and that type of thing anyways, just to set off to the side. Charles Haley. It's funny that they uh, put players. Well, some of them have players, I guess. Here's a Barry Sanders. There for a while, I thought that it was just the sole individual player. Step on page, Jim Everett. Never lived up to his potential. Sterling Sharp. He and uh, Jerry Rice came in at the same time. A lot of people collected the Jim Everett card over top of the uh, Jerry Rice card. Randall McDaniel, Rich Gannon, there's old Keith Jackson, Dexter Manley, Richard Dent. I am anxious to get a provision card. I don't know what the what the odds are of getting a provision card. I don't think they put that on the packs or on the boxes, like the odds, like they do today. Junior Sayo, Art Monk, so Emmett Smith, league leaders for the Cowboys, badly top to bottom. And here's our first provision. Dan Marino, badly left to right, but uh, that is awesome. If that was uh, a 10, we'd be looking at uh, about $345 there. Off center, but uh, cool. That is our first, first provision card here out of this box. So that was uh, eight packs. So right now we are on average to get uh, four to five, about five provisions is based on the first eight packs.
Hopefully we can uh, beat those odds. Mike Rozier. Double Steve McMichael. Like to get double provision. Reggie White, big hitter. Emmett Smith, base card. I'd say that uh, the provisions, just short print and the uh, badly cut of these. Oh, looks like we might have another. Ooh, uh, what is this here? I don't know anything about this. Fleer All Pro 91, Bo Jackson. That's cool. It's like a silver. I'm trying to look outside the light here. Silver border. That is not a provision. I am not familiar. There's a little fuzz on that corner. Not familiar with uh, this car or what it's called. Flip it over here. It's a super, super man. Superman. Okay, yeah, that M is a little off. Canton or Cooperstown? <laughs> Baseball or football? Hall of Fame. That is cool. That is cool. Bo Jackson. I have to get another one of those. And, uh, Mint condition, centered, centered properly. John Elway, Vinny Testaverde. So Jeff George. I'm more. Jeff George was a number one rookie draft pick in 1990. The uh, Falcons traded their number one spot to the Colts. And the Colts drafted Jeff George. Stan Humphreys, Robert Clark. There's old Cunningham, Randall. All right, pack number 12. Joe Jackson card school. Just a... Uh, Curious what that is. Herschel Walker. Andre Rosen. Andre Reed. Joe Montana. <coughs> All right. Should uh, get approved visions out of one of these four packs. That's what we're hoping for. One of these next four packs. Phil Sims. Andre Ware, when well, he was a big name then. Big hopeful for the Lions there. Him and Barry Sanders just kind of fizzled out. Big Nugget, Anthony Munoz. All right, two packs to go to stay on the uh, ProVision trend here. Hopefully we can uh, get one out of one of these two packs. If it's on average, every every eight packs is what we're guessing. Dexter Manley again. Dent. Bruce Smith. All right. Well, this is uh, pack number eight. Hopefully we got one in here, otherwise the uh, odds are against us. Oh, I see another gold card in here. Let's 
see who this is. This time it is Joe Montana. So that would be Fleer All Pro card, I'm assuming. Fleer, yeah, Fleer All Pro, randomly asserted, inserted. Go ahead and sleeve that up for Mr. Montana. I think it's more of a copper, copper bronze looking border more than a silver. I wonder if they're supposed to be off-centered that that way. If so, then they would be mint. If not, then they are more like a, an eight. Dig into that. All right, so we did we got two of those out of 16 packs and one of these out of 16 packs. So we need more Pro Visions. More luck on the Pro Visions. Carl Lee. Some doubles now. Come on, give us that Bo, Bo Jackson provision. That Howie Long provision. Berman Thomas. Reggie White again. This guy wearing that was uh, for the Seahawks. But it wasn't. I've not seen a Brian Bosworth card. I'm trying to think, maybe he retired in '89 or something. He was always one of my top favorites, along with other kids. All right. There's Barry Sanders and the league leaders. These cards look like they're, you see they're heavy on the right, and then you got these that are a little thick on the left. Where's old Jack Del Rio? Check him out. There's a linebacker. What's he doing with the ball? Intercepting it, I suppose. Tim Brown. Benny Blades. Mark Duper. Some big time names there. All right, come on, Pro Visions. Let's see some different... Get some eye poppers going here. Phil Sims. See another bronze card in here. See if it's uh, the exact same way, the exact same cut as the others. It's a little deeper in this pack. Another Bo Jackson cut the same way. It's cool. Don't know if there's any value to those. We know that there are short print and any Bo Jackson card as a 10 has value. I have to look this one up. I'll put him over top of that. They are cut the exact same way. So it kind of makes me think <coughs> that's how they're supposed to be cut. Kind of like the, the new age donors where they're thicker. You flip them over thin on this side, thick on this side, like it's uh, purposely shifted picture and border. Randall McDaniel again. A lot of Jeff George here. I think that's the third one. That's about the fourth test of Erty. Flippy. Langhorn. What a good wide receiver he was for the Browns. Old Reggie Langhorn. I was, went with the Falkhorn Langhorn. <laughs> Falkhorn Langhorn. All right, come on, provisions. Andy Heck, there's Cunningham. 
That one's uh, pretty well centered there. All right. Well, we are more than halfway through on this box. We've got to pull another one, right? You would think. Satisfied with any. Ernest Givens. Feel good here in this row. I feel like we're going to get two more. Two more. A lot of kickers. A lot of kickers. Let's see, John L. Williams, John Stevens, Bruce. Louis Carthon, James Brooks. I remember James Brooks with the Bengals. It's pretty tough. Let's see, Brent Jones, Richard Dent, Dexter Manley again. Keith Jackson, Tim Worley, his name is hard to read. Burt Grossman. Here we go. Got uh, two more rows after this, so that means eight packs. What's our odds here? Is it two per box? I think we got another bronze border here. One moon. Who we got this time? Mark Bortz. Uh, that is badly. I don't, Mark Bortz, defense. I highly doubt that there's old Icky Woods with the shuffle. I doubt Mark Bortz is that valuable of a card there. All right, we got two, four, six, eight. Well, I hope the video has been somewhat entertaining. I wanted to pull some more provision so that you all could see the different styles of the persons, the players that are in. Hopefully we can do that. Steve Young. Bill Romanowski. Christian Okoye. All right, well, let's keep on rolling. Seven to go. Hostetler, an alumnus of mine, WVU, West Virginia University. Kevin Mack. There we go. Don Maggie. And pack number six left. Trey Waters. There's old Deion Sanders. That was horribly cut. Bruce Smith. Jeff Cross. Reggie Kyle. All right. Countdown five. Here we got another bronze. Who's this? Jim Lacey. Now pass on Jim Lacey. There's Jerry Rice. There we go, Gary Zimmerman. And pack four to go. There we go. Come on, come on. Hey, there we go, Derek Thomas. That boy, that one looks pretty centered maybe a little top to bottom there we go 
All right, Randall Cunningham and Bruce Smith there again. This is a good pack. Bob Golick. There we go. I'll see that Derek Thomas here in a second. That Derek Thomas card as a 10 goes for uh, 300. Byron Evans. So we pulled two with uh, two packs remaining. So I don't know if that's the average. Let me go through these again. I was, so Rod Woodson, that might, no, not his rookie. No. I believe Rod is a Hall of Famer, or should be. Let's see. Sorry, I'm going through this pack again. Phil Sims. This is just a little distracted there. Looking up the price of Derek Thomas. Let's uh, see if we can't pull another one here. David Falker. Vincent Brown. There's your lane horn again. Little duplicate pack touch Jicklin Rod Woodson. All right, last last pack. Last pack. I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve Derek Thomas here. Get him on a stand. He is definitely cut different than the rest of them, than the uh, Dan Marino. So Maybe it's a little more centered. Last pack in the search of the provisions. Double Scott case, unfortunately. Thurman Thomas. Andre Risen. Troy Aikman. That's nice. I haven't pulled that one yet. Uh, Ernest Bonner with the Redskins. And there we go. So just a little recap. We got uh, these bronze... Clear All Pro cards, two Bo Jacksons and one Joe Montana. They're all cut the exact same. And uh, let's see. Then we'll pull up the. Then we got a bunch of just ones that we pulled out, set off to the side. I won't go through them. But this uh, Dan Marino Pro Visions and the Derek Thomas. Provisions. So the Derek Thomas looks pretty, pretty daggone good as far as centering. Looks good on the back. I think the uh, top is made to be that way. No, obviously it is more centered than the Dan Marino. Left to right and bottom looks great. So I would think I have to do a little research on this. If it appears to be a 10, then I will submit this one to PSA on my next submittal. And uh, hopefully we can uh, follow up on that. And I'll recap during uh, that, that reveal if in case this is a 10. So again, appreciate you all liking and subscribing. And we'll uh, crack open another box here later on and get those uh, uploaded for you all. Appreciate it. Thank you.